This is video number 28 for violin and viola players, and we are going to be learning the B flat major scale and also the key signature of B flat major. So open up to page number 23, and you can use this um, when we're playing, or you can use what's up on the board. But still, I want you to open to page 23 because I want you to look at that little shaded box that says key signature B flat major. And B flat major, as you can see, has two flats, and it's the only two flats we know. Okay, we, we can't play any other other flats yet. B flat and E flat. Violas yours are here. Okay, this is what violins would look like. This is what violas would look like. B flat and E flat. So everything else is natural. That means you still got to do F naturals, like low two on the D, right? You still got to do C naturals, low two on the A, because everything's natural except for Bs and Es, and they are flat. Okay. So if we're starting on B flat, the we're playing the scale of B flat major. We're going to start on the B flat, obviously. So we start on B flat, and then C, D, A, B, C, D, E. But what's special about E? It's E flat, then F, then G. Then we back over to A, and we finish off with B flat. So I know it looks like there's three flats in there, but there's not, because two of them are the Bs, OK? So there are three notes that are flat, but two of them are the same note. B flat, all Bs are flat, and all Es are flat. All right? Now, violins, when you shadow bow this, you're going to notice that this is similar to one scale you just learned. It's similar to the F major scale. Violas, it's a brand new thing for you guys. Okay? So we start with a low two on the G string. If you want to look in your book at 104, you can. The only thing is we're not doing that rest at the end of the first line. So you, and we're doing two chord notes at the end of the second line. So you can look at your book, which knows some, some modifications for it. So B flat on the G string, violas are here. B flat, then C, you gotta stretch that three up, then open D, then E flat, low one, then F natural, low two, stretch the three up for G, open A, then B flat, low one on the A string. Okay, so you wanna look up here or look in your book, either way is fine. Start on a low two on the G string, shadow bow, B flat, one, two of each, one, two, B flats and go. B flat. Now C. Open D. Now E flat. Okay, stop. You have a low one down on the D string. That's what you need for E flat. Okay, start again. Shadow bow. Red C. B flat. Go. B flat. Now C. Open D. And go B flat. Now C. Open D. E flat. F. G. A. Now low one B flat. B flat. A. You need to, I need you to, um, to practice that before you try the arpeggio, okay? So the arpeggio, E flat, first note, third note, open D, fifth note, F, and then B flat again, okay? So before you try this, I want to try just this little interval right here from the F to the B flat. So low two on the D. And then B flat. Try that. Two Fs, two B flats. Play it with me. F natural, B flat. Red C, and go. Two Fs, two B flats. It's a little bit hard to reach that. That's why I want to practice that. Now do two B flats and two Fs. Play that. Echo me. Or with me. B flat and F. And go. B flats. Now F. Now 
Let's shadow bow. Shadow bow and one, two, red C, B flat, and go. B flat, open D, F natural. be able to play that in tune scale arpeggio without stopping use your tuner okay if you don't have it memorized totally fine you want to use your book that's fine or you can just play along with this video but i do want you to be able to do it scale and arpeggio without stopping with in tune with a good tone